Hoshi 917 slash 30 Spider is an icon. It's the fastest sports car ever built. It not only dominated in Le Mans for a couple of years, but it also, as they say, killed the Can-Am series by being just too OP. Many sim racers have done great videos about it, so why one more, you may ask? Because I'm doing driver's eye with it. Driver's eye? What is that? That is a recreation of the view the actual driver must have had in this car. And why am I doing this? Because there is no footage of it. I've been down to the archives in that video encyclopedia called YouTube and the closest thing I have found was this. Yeah, that's cool, undoubtedly, but the camera obviously sits on the driver's helmet, which in my opinion is a bit too high, and of course it is not the spider, but the 917 with its roof. I instead want to give you the view Mark Donahue must have had when driving this car. So let's take a seat in that car and take a look around. Spider of course means no roof. The driver sits in the fresh air with his helmet on. Look at that car. Lightweight, stripped down to the bare necessities. There's a speedo, a few buttons, fire extinguisher, few cables. Midget-like mirrors. There's the big air intake. So how do I achieve this view? That's my rig, that's my regular seating position, but yeah, putting the camera on, well, a cap or on my forehead would have been too high, so I, again, chose my mouth mount, which of course is to be put in my mouth, and the GoPro then sits on my chin, a bit lower than it. And then to heighten, to elevate my seating position, I used this little boy here, enabling me to sit about 10 centimeters higher again. This is the position of another action cam for the onboard view. And now, Timo, just take a seat and adjust the camera angle and you're good to go. Twelve hundred HP, two turbos, massive turbo lag, so hard to tame. You have to be very respectful with that car and and have to accept its ferocity is bigger than your skills. It could kill you at any time. Just a tad too much on the gas and that's it. Off to Shadowland, never to return. What you see here is that I'm playing around with the turbo boost because driving on 100% will destroy the engine within one lap at Le Mans. Mark Donahue also had such a knob in his 917 to adjust the turbo power and make, well, the engine live longer. On the first kilometers, this car, of course, feels awful. It has too much power and it is either power sliding or understeer. There <laughs> seems nothing in between. And a perfect lap is, well, an ideal, I'd say. I was astonished how good the brakes are in this thing. So much better than in the Ford GT, the old one.
so hard to tame. But like the Lotus 98T, like the Group C cars, like the Group B cars, the reward when you think you are taming this beast and putting out some, let's say, decent lap times is unparalleled. This is so great, this is so cool. Your engine's running a bit rough, mate. Sector one time's okay. Time is quick. Rear tyres are hot. Your rear tyres are getting hot. You've just done a 114.5. Good luck. That's your best in the session. This view, of course, it isn't perfect, but what I'm aiming here at is a blend of physical and virtual world, a mixed reality and a lot of immersion that comes from it, to at least give you and me a notion of what it must have been like to drive this car. Please tell me, did I succeed? Where can I improve? Or in general, what your thoughts are on that topic? So guys, that was it, the first part of my 917 Spider Tribute. Thanks a lot for watching, see you on the next one, bye bye.